Good morning, good afternoon, fellow mud fossil researchers. Where you may be, it's Tyson here, and I'm getting ready to put together another video um, of the samples I took from a Seal Rock in my last video. So I'm going to show you where I was. I was in Oregon, a place called Seal Rock. The last few videos I've done, this is all one creature, all tied together. The Ona Beach, um, all this is one creature in through here. I'm going to turn this to show you just where I was. So I took some samples in my last video and I had parked down here in this parking lot and walked down this beachhead and I came down here and I was checking out these mud fossil parts laying on the beach. Well, it's all this is all tied together. The stuff that I had down here in a couple videos ago on a beach, uh, that's all part of this creature. You see all this in through here? How this arch is out like that from seal rock? This is all part of this creature. I'm getting ready to do a video on these uh, vertical tendon straps and all this in here. Uh, a couple videos, but right now I'm going to be showing you what I had going on with these samples. So I got one of those microscopes. Uh, they're just a magnification, uh, basically. And so we're going to look at some stuff that I found, a lot of blood, a lot of stuff like that. And um, so I'm going to look at these right here today. And so I'll get started on that. And so that's where I was. That's uh, where these mud fossil specimens came from. I'm getting ready to look at today. Right there. So anyway, I'll get started. And uh, you got to bear with me. My computer's been kind of messed up lately. I've had it down for a week. So I'm going to uh, move all this into the kitchen and lay the rocks out and everything. And um, I don't have a lot of technology, so you have to bear with me with the camera. Okay, I'm going to get started here. I'm going to show you some of the things. Um, I don't have much of a setup here, so you have to bear with me. i got the computer here. i got the scope. And then uh, i got some lighting over here and everything to help light up the... So I'm going to turn this on, hopefully, to show you some of the stuff that I did pick up. This is uh, one of the pieces I picked up. I hope you can see this. I'm going to wet it down here. I got a mist bottle. But you can see it's got a, it's got a pattern on top of it. It's got the, uh, the organic pattern, the fabric right here. I'm not sure if... Uh, let me turn this up. What it is, to me, I, it looks like uh, skin on it. You can see the difference between the end right there. See the fabric on that right there. Got another piece right here. I thought this looks like it to me. It looks like fascia. Um, but I got fabric on top of this right here. Um, let me get it wetted down. Oopsie, that's my best part right there. My good one. Okay. And this is the other piece. Another piece that I found. And I put I wrote fascia on it because it looked like it was fascia to me. Um, if you can see that right there, see how it's got the, this looks like almost like skin on the top of, of this here, which is black. Got a little more of it right here. Um, I hope that's coming in where you can see that. I'll be looking at that in a minute too. And this one here I found, I, I busted it open and it's just... It's blood. It's red. It's it's transition metals. It's just amazing. I'll I'll show you. It, it came apart and on the inside. Let me get it wetted down here. The oranges, the reds, the black. Just amazing. And I don't know what the gray is in the center. Um, that piece right there. I don't know. But I'm gonna look under the microscope scope here, and I'm gonna show you some stuff that I realized and I noticed while I was down at the beach the other day. I also got some pieces here that are just flat, just red, solid red, chunk of red, real light. I don't know what they are. We're going to look at those. I got some pieces that are busted open here of red. Um, I found all these here, and then here's the pieces that I chipped off that. Some people thought it was a cuttlefish, whatever. It's blood. It's all black and red, but it's, it's preserved different. So I'm going to look at that under the microscope here. So I'm going to get started and show you some stuff, and then we'll see what it looks like. So bear with me here.
Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here that's uh, had some fabric on it. You can see through it here. You can see it's got fabric around the, this piece up here. So it's got a fabric on it, like skin or whatever. I'm going to take a look underneath it a little quick. It looks like it might be skin, a tough skin or whatever that is, like, like on your foot or your pad or your foot. So, uh, trying to hone in on some of this. I'm getting, trying to get it focused here for you. But it's got a lot of that white speck, that real flat stuff that looked like uh, the Roger's last video. And this ain't coming in very good right there. Doesn't have a lot of, there's some black in it, some blood in it right in there. You can see the black spots. Right in the center right there. So some, some more right there. And uh, I'm going to move this around a little bit. I'm going to come in over here on the blacker stuff. And see what we got going on here. Oh yeah. There's lots of those little black round dots like Roger has on his. He says they're uh, blood right in there. There's more red right in there. I'm going to hurry through these so that um, I want to get some other ones here that are pretty cool. These are the ones that uh, I just broke open that are red. And uh, let's see if I can get this focused. Boy, look at all the red and the black in there. I mean, that's just. Transition metals. Um, here's some more of that red. Just solid, that's the whole, and then it's got black. Hold on here, let me try to get this focused a little better. If I can get it held on here. I'm trying to get that black piece right there, and the red, the transition in front of, you know. There we go. Everything looks like, there's the black with the red on the outside. which is blood. Anytime we have red and black, it's blood. This is all mostly blood here. Okay, this is, uh, this is, uh, I'm going to take this piece that a lot of people in my last video thought was a cuttlefish, and I chipped it off. I mean, if you can see, it's all red there. Um, so I'm going to try this piece and take a look at it real quick. Okay. Holy cow. Look at the red and the black in that. It's just blood. It's just everywhere. Transition in blood. I'll try to get Roger to look at this and see what he thinks too. But that is what that is. I'm pretty sure in my opinion. After watching a lot of his videos. It's just solid red. Blacks. It's blood. And so this is a thing that people thought was a cuttlefish and stuff in the video, but it's uh, just transition to metals. It's just blood. Look at the black dots everywhere. And transition metal, the colors, the reds. Okay. I also took a video. I chipped off one down there. that It looked to me when I got it home and stuff, it looks to me like it's wood. Uh, I'm going to show you that right now. It's petrified wood stuck in uh, whatever that was on the beach down there. So uh, I'm going to focus in on that. And you see the, the lines in it. That's why I started thinking it was petrified wood. And it changes color over here to the edge. Somewhere, where was that? Oh, right in here. See, it goes from the brown there. over and it starts turning into this black so I'm not positive but I think it's wood maybe not but and then here's some more of that stuff that I chipped off the the people thought was a cuttlefish a small fish look at the, the reds and the blacks and it's just it's blood it's all it's all just red and black look at this this is just blood got the reds over in here it's 
blood. So anyway, that's what we got going on there. Uh, I really wanted to show you this this one here that I had cracked open, and the reds. See the reds in there, and how, it just gets to almost a black. It just, it goes from a real light orange down to darker, 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 and now it gets black. I mean, it's just. And I'm gonna put this underneath here, and I'm gonna show you something. Um, this is just. This all came together, and I cracked it open. It was like that. I busted it open. If I can get it to go back together there. there. I busted it open with a hammer and got the end off. And I cracked it open again and got this on the inside. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to come in on this and then I'm going to show you something in a sand dune. This is blood. This is blood transitioning clear down to the final stage. Of, I mean, it's. I bet you've drilled down in there somewhere you get DNA out of there. I mean, it's almost, it was, when I look into the microscope without getting it wet, it's almost, it's just shiny and almost wet looking. So anyway, I'm going to look at this real quick, and I'm going to show you something on here. This is, this is blood transitioning from the orange clear down to the final stage, which is black, and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, I'm going to start out here in the orange. This, out, this is the outer edge of that, what I just showed you, and this is what I wanted to show you. See the, see the oranges in there? The lines, how they run. And I'm going to move closer and closer to the black. See how it starts getting darker and darker and all these lines run through these different colors of orange. There's always these different colors of orange in here. And you got the black. And if we get closer and closer to the center. The, and then that, that's where it turns to that gray that was in the center. The, but look at the black and the reds in there. I hope you'll be able to see this well. I don't know how it's coming up on the computer or on the screen here, but there I got to get in focus. There. And then this is the gray that was in the center of this thing. And it's still got reds in it and some blacks and but it's not pronounced as much as it was in the last. Okay, so that's what I had. I have a lot of rocks. You can see, well, I got another one here that's got a, it's got a, you can see it's got a, a, a fabric on it. And then this side's black. Um, this one here, um, same way. You can see it's got a fabric. You can see a hole in it right there. It's got a fabric around on the top of it. Um, you can see on the end, see the fabric, and then this really super black in here, and I think this might, over here, I'm going to turn this, but this might be an artery right here, uh, I'm going to put this under here right now, or a vein, I'm not sure, but I'm going to show you some of this stuff in here, I'll try it, Roger's really busy, I mean, I'll try and get him to look at some of this, but I don't know if he'll be able to, but I already know what it is, that red and the blacks like that transition to metal's blood. Why is everything blood, you're asking? Because, you know, these creatures are so big that everything's going to be blood. Just, or, you know, reds transitioning metals and stuff like that. So, the way I understand it. Okay, I want to show you one more thing real quick. I'm going to back out of here. Whoopsie. And that's with this one rock. This one just fascinates me because this is the one that has all these colors. All these colors right here. And this is what I noticed in the sand dunes and the cliff walls. So we're going from all these transitioning colors of oranges, all all different layers in this right here even. And we I know for a fact this is blood. Roger will confirm that this is all blood out here. So I'm going to show you something real quick. Okay, I'm going to play a short little clip here out of one of the videos I'm getting ready to make. I want you to notice I just what I wanted to show you was the transition metals that are in, in this, this cliff wall behind me, this dune wall, and it's blood. Just like I showed you in the rock with the oranges uh, settling in there, the same thing. So I'm going to play this right now and let you see what's going on. Solid rock. That's what this, we're standing on the creature, I'm standing on the creature, look at the red in here. Okay, see the dunes right there, see this? See the reds, all the reds transition into the blacks and all that in here? Just like the rock I just showed you that I busted open. So this is blood. This is blood, this is blood, this is blood. I don't know how much more to stress that. It's blood. Just transitioning to the blacks, to the reds, to the oranges, all through this cliff wall. I mean, you can see it with your own eyes. I just showed you a rock 
with the exact same thing that we know for a fact is blood, so we know for a fact that is blood, because it was in the same spot. Those are transition metals, I believe, settling. Look at that. Look at all them oranges. Look at the blacks in here and the reds. Look at that. And this is a this is a, a 30 foot high cliff wall, sand dune. So that's what this is. It's the creature. It's it's the skin of the creature. Just like on top that you'll see what I'm saying in my next video. This is the creature that the, the skin is sloughed down, all the transition metals, and that's what's going on. So I know my video equipment's not that great. I have to get a new computer, so I don't know, mine may be crashing. All I know is uh, this processor can't keep processing the way I'm going. It's been shutting down programs. So anyway, I hope this helps to understand what was going on with this creature. Got more videos coming, but this is transition metals of blood. And that's what's going on. And that's what this is. So uh, join me for the next videos coming up. I'll try to get Roger to look at some of this. Maybe he'll comment on it because this is my first video of actually showing specimens. So I'm trying to learn as I go and learn about transition metals and trying to learn about fabric organic fabric. I'm trying to learn all this as we're going here. So it's all a learning experience. Go to mudfossils.com, Mud Fossil University, Roger Spur to learn more. Thank you. Have a great day and stay tuned.